Let's get right to this, though. We've been so excited to talk about these gals. They stole our hearts as Tootie and Blair in the hit 80s sitcom, The Facts of Life. And now they're all grown up and they're back together in Hallmark Channel's new romantic comedy. It's called For Better or For Worse. So excited to talk with Lisa and Kim in just a moment. But first, let's take a little stroll down memory lane. I swear. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both and there you have the facts of life. They grew up before our eyes in the iconic 80s show, The Facts of Life, about four boarding school friends. Navigating their way through adolescence. Lisa Welchel played popular Blair Warner. I just had another one of my brilliant ideas. And Kim Fields, the spunky Tootie and Ramsey. We are in trouble. Now the two are reuniting for Hallmark Channel's movie, For Better or For Worse, about giving love a second chance. What about Marco? What about Marco? You light up whenever he's in the room. That's what about Marco? We were simply discussing the kids. I have seen the way you look at him. Come on, tell me it's about some darn kids. All right, Lisa Welchel, Kim Fields, joining us live now. Good morning to good both morning, of you. It's so good to see you? you. I was just saying, I feel like I know you. It's just been such a pleasure watching your show for all these years. Oh, are you surprised you. how connected we all still are to it? I don't think so, you know, and not in like a bad, you know, pat ourselves on the back kind of way, but um, the fans have always let us know over the decades, you know, how much the show has meant to them, their children growing up, or their children's children, that sort of thing. So we are old, their children. <laughs> you guys look fantastic, and Thank I know you. you are back together again. Tell us how this came <clears throat> to be, for better or for worse. Oh, I was sent the script, and um, I've been sent a lot of scripts to do some family-friendly shows or faith-based, and they're sometimes so cheesy. But this one was actually really cute, and I thought, yeah, I like to be a part of this. They're not trying to hit you over the head with some, you know, crazy moral. It's just great entertainment, fun romantic comedy. And then when they said they were going to hire Kim to play my friend, it was, okay, I'll do that for free. <laughs> and how was it? Was it sort of like just riding a bike sure. again? Absolutely. Very much like riding a bike. Very much like, um, you know, Lisa's just a wonderfully talented woman, you know, plain and simple. And so to be able to, you know, work with her again, and, and we're grown now, so it's not like there was a whole lot of, of sameness, sure. you know, from working together when sure. you're younger. Right. But, uh, but certainly very comfortable. Yeah, and, and how about for you, having just had baby Quincy, yes. three months was it before filming started? Yeah, three months before uh, before filming started. And it was very relaxing and to that end. You know, a lot of times, especially as actresses, we're very, you know, pressured to, you know, get the baby weight off and you gotta do this and you gotta do that. And, you know, and it was like, you know what? I am comfortable in my skin right now. I get to do this movie, it's spring break, so Sebastian can also come and, and um, you know, just really enjoy it. That's awesome. I, let's get to the facts of life and I want to share with you something very special. Uh, let's roll it guys. Lisa, Kimmy, it's Charlotte. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to you both being on this Hallmark movie this weekend. I'm all a quiver with anticipation. <laughs> I know you'll be brilliant and I love you. Mm. Oh, oh, so Hi, sweet. Char, we what love a you. sweet special yeah, surprise. Thank, thank you. you. Do you all keep in touch? Absolutely. You guys just selfie, didn't you? Yeah, well, I just like had viral? lunch with her uh, just a couple of weeks ago and just took a selfie, no big deal. Like we always, I yeah, always do, I put it on my Twitter her. account and yeah. it just uh, went viral. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mrs. Garrett, she'll always be. Oh yeah. To all of us. <laughs> Definitely. How about the rest of the gang? I keep in touch with everybody. Yeah, very much so. I mean, you know, we're blessed to work with really great people in our careers, you know, from other projects that we've done, doing Living Single and other projects for me. So working with great people is kind of a, a mandate. If well, it you also will. says a lot about you and, and, and how you are. So, <laughs> <laughs> well said. You know, Kim. I mean, you just don't. So, so you definitely keep up with them. And now through social media and things, it's a lot easier to send baby pictures and, you know, get updates and, and things like that. We don't have a ton of time, but I want to do this because our <clears throat> Producers created a little game. It's called For Better or For Worse, um, and it's a little quiz. Oh, no, uh -oh. it's not. This is called, that's your movie. It's called yes. Facts of Set Life. Okay. So, answer and uh, raise a paddle. Oh, how funny. Who, whose dressing room should be declared a disaster area back in the day? Yeah. I was always us. asleep. <laughs> Yeah, she was asleep. Everybody, y'all you, were neat. I yeah, was, no, I was like reading or asleep. That's about yeah. it, my dressing room. All yeah, right, so. last one. Who was the director's pet? On, on the movie? Facts of Life. I would oh, say Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy McKeon. Well, I studied directing, and so I was always up under the director, so I'm going to go with me. 
Okay. So, <laughs> I love it. I, we could spend all day with you. It's great to these see you. These are so you. fun. I like these. Well, you're welcome to bring them home. Well, she's going to hang and, them on uh, a Christmas tree. And the gift to, to our viewers <laughs> is, for better or for worse, everybody, it premieres on the Hallmark Channel this Saturday night. We thank you so much thank for being you. here. Thank you. Thank you.